I can't go too much past the end time. So I'm going to try to get as many of these done as possible, but I might not be able to get all of them done. Let me enter and start the last, last raffle here too. Well, usually I don't camp like that, but <laughs> not that it was really camping. It's just, eh, I was getting shots, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. It's just, they pushed, we didn't. Hello, chop. Nice to see you again. Um, as far as food on, I don't really use it at all on any tanks, to be honest. Um, like it is worth it to use on tanks, but I personally, I don't like getting set on fire and not having a fire extinguisher, nor do I really have crews that have that perk. Not that many people do, because it's one of the use, least used perks, uh, the fire skill perk. But I personally, like, I just run the standard uh, med kit, or not med kit, repair kit, and then med kit, and premium fire extinguisher. You can get more out of your tank, obviously, for using other setups and all premium versions, but I'm not going to bleed through that many credits just to get a little bit more out of my tank, so... But the amount of times, like, I don't think we saw any tonight, but the amount of times that I see people that don't have fire extinguishers and I set them on fire or somebody else does in the beginning and then they just burn out not accomplishing anything, it's a lot to where that would really irk me if that happened to me. So, and honestly, it has happened to me on the test server. I usually just throw on like premium food and stuff just because it's a test server, and usually I get set on fire. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with it. Pretty much it's adding like a free uh, pair of vents on your tank, more or less, to where, you know, you just gotta, you know, weigh risk and reward. Usually it is the better option, but yeah. I also have to contest with like, I'm always short on credits. Like, even if I have, like, a couple of weeks ago when I had 40 million credits, I blew through them and I still have, like, I don't even know how many tanks, a few dozen tanks I could purchase. Oh, why are you going like that? You could have gotten me shot up there. You guys shoot that way. I will shoot this way. Ooh. Whoa, don't all turn your turrets. You guys can tank their shots. I can't really. I kind of can, but it all depends on which one's shooting me and if they hit me in the cupola. We have a lot of tanks in the center though. If they press that, we should be good. Can't believe I'm trying to freaking bounce a shot from a T10 like this. But we're all pointing this way, so somebody's gotta do it. I knew it was mostly safe doing that. Couldn't let him get away without tapping him again. We're doing pretty well trading, so I'm trying. Uh, we might lose somebody here. Might be me, might be a, a Luva. But trying not to lose my teammates here. Um, I still can take two shots. But if I can get this T10 out, he's still reloading. That would be awesome. Now it's just one of them. It's really hard for you to mess up against one tank compared to two or three. Let's track him. I can take a shot from him. I think somebody's still one-shottable behind me. 
but that worked out. Hello, Steinhelm. Nice to see you. Is he? Yeah, he can pretty much cut through all of us. Chinese TVs, you don't see a ton of them, but pretty much they can pen you if they use premium. Doesn't matter what tank you're in. Even their standard rounds are pretty nasty, too. Oop, his P44 might get me now. No, I know. We did pretty well uh, fighting that way. I was a little lucky. But luckily, you know, we kind of all stuck with the plan. Because looking at it, two of them are in a platoon together. So that probably helped out a bit. Yeah, that guy's still alive. <laughs> So far, so good. Up by six. Decent match so far. Get another shot there, but now I'm spotted. So hopefully I can get... I know I can get the VK in here. I might get another battle after that. We'll see. But the Tiger 2, not that I blocked a lot here. Um nor really could I because they could hit me on the side the way I was angling you know sometimes like I was using my HP kind of to take smart shots once we got ahead and you know those guys tanked a few shots and were starting to take some damage I just kind of slid in there and let them take off uh, HP from me when it made sense and I knew that we could get a couple shots on them so pretty good battle 4k damage and, you know, the Tiger II, for as much hate as it receives, it's more of a problem with how the game changed to where it's, it's not bad per se. It's just the role it plays, a heavy that doesn't really have, like, armor or, like, a high alpha gun or something, or that can play as, like, a heavy medium. It just doesn't really have, like, a, a role that's always useful. But luckily I could fit in there, and its gun's pretty solid, but... You know, it's just, it's not really good at fighting, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with, like, say, other heavies and stuff like that. But, anyway, got an ace tanker. Uh, thanks for requesting this one. It's a very fun battle. Uh, easily the most amount of damage in the match. 1,500 base experience, which, holy crap. Um, yeah, I haven't seen that in a while. It's right on the dot, too. So, I'm just gonna give myself a little... A little note there uh, for that one. <laughs> Thanks again for requesting that one, though. So let me pop into another German tank here. Um, the VK3002D. So pop down, pop down a tier. 